So is it a booster dose or is it really a third dose? And how big is that dose supposed to be? The whole booster shot situation has got a little complicated over the past couple of weeks. Dr. Frank Me George here to answer some of your booster questions that have been coming in through clickondetroit.com. Doc? Yeah, Devin. So a viewer named Ruma asks, I'm planning to get my booster this Sunday and travel to Canada by car on November 4th. That means I have to take the COVID test on the 2nd. Will the booster shot affect the test? So Ruma, the answer is no, you don't have to worry. None of the vaccines will cause a COVID test to become positive. Now here are more of your questions. A viewer asks, a pharmacist told my daughter that since she and her family all had COVID-19 last December, they were safe from getting it again for two years. Is that true? Simply put, we don't know precisely. While we do believe having been infected provides some immunity, it appears to vary from person to person in how effective it is and how long it lasts. Suggesting a safety range of two years is complete speculation, which is why getting vaccinated is still recommended. Ellen writes, if I had the J&J vaccine and want to have a Moderna boost, will I get the full dose or the half-dosed Moderna booster? Seems like I should get the full dose. People who received the single-dose J&J vaccine are eligible for a booster shot of any of the three vaccines two months after their J&J dose. If you choose to get Moderna as your booster, you will receive the half dose because that's the designated booster dose. And Jasmine asks, is there actually different dosing for a third dose and for a booster shot, or are all third shots the same dosage just with different names? The terms third dose versus booster dose do have different meanings when we're talking about the two-dose mRNA vaccines. A third dose is given to supplement the initial response in immune-compromised people, and it's given 28 days after the second dose. A booster dose is given to extend protection that's decreased over time in those with normal immune function. For the mRNA vaccines, it's given at least six months after completing the initial series. In the case of Moderna, a third dose is a full dose, while the booster is a half dose. Now, another point that was recently clarified by the CDC is that immune-compromised people who receive a third dose should also potentially receive a fourth booster dose. That would be six months after completing the third dose. Now, again, that is because they often are not getting the same level of response to the vaccine as others who are not immunocompromised. Back to you. We've got our, our vaccine cards where I think we're going to need a bingo card here, the way this is going to keep up with all these different changes in advice. All right, Doc.